thanks for uh, watching this video in this we are continuing with the spark uh, videos and in this video we have been taking a look at how to do some transformations that are more time series uh, related uh, in this case i have some uh, crypto data here uh, if you take a look at this crypto data you can see it has like things like time low high open close volume um, something that i would like to do maybe in the machine learning model is basically trying to see if the future flows can be predicted somehow uh, with these present uh, feature values so uh, the output of let's say this row width can be uh, like this row so like uh, three rows from now what is the close value so something like this i can use the shift operator this should give me something like this so you can see here this became this and so I can use this as my label um, let's try to do this in spark now let's see so read Format. This is the CSV load, which is basically the home Jovian. Since I'm using the Jovian Spark Docker uh, to uh, start my Apache query in this case, so it's kept in my data folder. Crypto data this so you can see that my crypto data that show is something like this interesting in this case these are all like um, this one so i need to give them uh, column names so i will probably create a schema here so So first is I can take what time basically go okay my time is integer type this is two. This no, this will be two. So that's it. Um, 
Was in there, struck wheel was in there, and the type was in there. That should do it. Now to implement uh, the shift, what I would need to do is on some functions so we go on dot functions dot so I'm calling this both read and write in this case you will need to uh, lead the whole thing forward uh, you can also take read and write so in this case we'll be using shift we are shifting it of course we'll be needing it <coughs> so we will also need expressions dot we also need the window System. So I'm saying that window based on this and say this guy is to three and so it goes to Select so what I will do is future and I will say that um, I will lead the close Edit. Let me just give it that I'm seeing this. Yes, say that later. Over. This should be in a column. See that the future is like three steps from here. So the future is three steps from here. So great. Now you can maybe uh, run a RNN based on this um, and see how to go ahead with implementing or the predicting the future based on the current columns so thanks for watching this video uh, see you guys in the next video